Hello everyone, welcome back to Sphinx and the Curse of Mummy. Last time we did the Lost Temple of Heliopolis and got to this new, uh, place. Uh, so now, we also got the Rosetta Stone. But now we're gonna go and five, five, find five obelisks and translate them. And that's our objective for this video. I don't know how long that'll take. Let's see, but a great warrior by the name of Sphinx. Okay, that's one out of five. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Let me see... Let me see if I can remember where all of them are. They're not too hard to find. Actually, wait, there's another one over here. Let me go over here. There's one right above the south beach over here. There it is. Okay, so yeah, these are out of order, but they get put in order. We'll emerge as the chosen one. Oh, I don't want to go down there. And then, let's see... There's another one right over there, yeah. And let's see... I know where the other one, where another one is, but I'm not sure where the final one would be. I don't know. This is kind of difficult because I need to, I need these to all be going at the same time. Yes, yeah, okay, I need to. I should probably kill that thing though. Oh, and I, I, I probably should. Oh well, okay, I'm getting out of here. There we go. Alright, so let's try not to die. Try not to die challenge. Easier than the try not to laugh challenge. I'll scratch that because a lot of try not to laughs are trash, so. Okay, so this is all we need. I think there's also something else to defend the Eternal Eye of Ra. Yeah, we saw the end of this, but we didn't get the beginning. What's this? I think this is 100 scarabs. <laughs> oh no, it's a key. Hey. Okay, so let's try not to die so that we can actually keep our progress. I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Okay. Alright. So there's the obelisks that we've always seen from the beginning, which is over um, uh, at the first part of Heliopolis, which we'll go to. Uh, oh yeah, the other obelisk is over by that the places where we herded those squirts. So yeah, we'll get to those. Let me say first because I don't want to die and lose everything that I just did. Now let's go over and get those other two obelisks. Alright, so the squirts, where are they? They're somewhere over here. Oh yeah, they're this way. Oh, I should have turned in that monster list. Oh, I'll do that when I come back. Alright, so here's another obelisk. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, and here, is this the first obelisk that we're supposed to get? Yeah, when the Age of Osiris comes to an end. It's the first one that you're actually supposed to get, I guess. And then we'll, uh, let's go this way and get down, actually, uh, no, let's just go, let's just go this way. I think this is, this is a little bit closer. And it's right up here. Okay, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. 
Come on. Get up there. The shadow of set will descend upon us. Okay. So now we have everything. So we can we can take the quick way to uh, to get back to the Bedouin outpost by taking the ship right there. Or the boat, whatever. Bedouin outpost. Alright. Oh, his name is Kansu. Yeah, I remember it now. Alright, so we can give it to the old archaeologist. <laughs> you have done it! You have translated the five golden obelisks of Heliopolis. This message is incredible. The ancients foresaw that darkness would descend upon us and inscribed the ancient prophecy of Ra on the obelisks. When the age of Osiris comes to end, the, the shadow of Set will descend upon us. But a great warrior by the name of Sphinx will emerge as the chosen one to defend the eternal Eye of Ra. You know that it's separated by obelisks whenever you see a comma. It is you! You are the chosen one! I don't know what to say! I want you to take this to help you on your quest. It's a magical statue which is said to unlock you. The great obelisk on the cliffs above the south beach. You must succeed your quest. The fate of all lies in your hands. Good luck, great warrior. Alright, so with that, we can go actually do the, the fourth mummy visit, which I didn't know if I was going to do in this video, but I guess so, because we're only nine minutes in. Oh, I mean, the recording's nine minutes in. It's probably a little less for you guys. But, um, yeah, we'll go do that. I don't think it's too long. I don't think it's as long as the third mummy visit. Let's go do it. Closer and closer to the end of the game. We're about to do the fourth one, use it, and then, yeah. So, this is the Great Obelisk. Here with the, the, these people chanting. If you speak to them uh, before you get the Rosetta Stone, then uh, then you won't be able to understand what they're saying, but now you can. Inside the Great Elvis is an item of great importance to the one of the prophecy. The great Obelisk will reveal itself to the one of the prophecy. What if the archaeologist had come here and put the statue in himself? The one of the prophecy will conquer the lost temple of Heliopolis, translate the text of the ancients to discover the secret of the great obelisk. Only the one of the prophecy will be able to unlock the secret of the great obelisk. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's unlock the secret of the great obelisk. Parathor statue. Okay. Are you ready? Because I know I'm not. Just kidding, I actually am. There's a puzzle at the end of the fourth mummy visit that's kind of difficult. Um, but I'll probably just get a guy to it anyway. Because that'll make things simpler for everyone. You got a canopic face. Part of the soul of Tutankhamen's story side. And here's our nice little fellow, Bass Cat. And let's go. We're back at the castle of Uruk. Long time no see, Tutankhamun. Just kidding, it's only been an episode. But let's do this anyway. So yeah, here we go. Here we are. Means is always angry. Mmm, no, nothing here. Oh, aside from several hundred dead bodies. I want all corners of the castle inspected carefully. Set is infuriated because we've yet to find the intruder. We'll hunt around the clock if necessary. We are wasting time here. Come, we'll go to the north wing. Good. Good. Of course, Malstel. Masket. Long time no see, my friend. Yet another canopic face safely delivered. I'm sure we'll have you back to your old self in no time. Until then, we still need you to gather as many artifacts and bits of information as you can. You are doing great so far. Keep up the good work. See you soon. Alright. Let's go. 
let's do it. With our nice little brief but in informal uh, informational intro via basket, we can go. They left this door open, so let's go. Let's get out here. To quote Marky Moo. Each starting with the third mummy visit mummy visit we go a different way each time. So let's well, this is interesting. If you fall here, then uh good luck because I think you need to go all the way back down to get up here. Or actually maybe you just need to fall down and respawn you up there. But uh don't fall down there because it's not too good. It's not gonna work out too good for you. Uh, okay, so we need to do this very carefully because there are eyes watching. Okay, the door. Okay, the door is right there. Okay, we do not want that. No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is the worst thing that could have happened. Okay, Malstel. Thought this would have been easy, but I guess not. Hopefully, it'll respawn us. Yep, great. Okay, so let's try that again. There we go. Simple as that. Should have just done that first time. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Hey. Wasn't prepared for that. Oh well. Okay, so here we are. That's the puzzle at the end right there, by the way. I don't think this I don't think this is a long visit actually. I am King Dor of the Sarcophagi people, you may call me Ramses. If you can light all of these torches around me, I will give you an ancient artifact. Be careful though, it's just as easy to extinguish them as it is to light them. Yeah. Yeah, see, look, you need fire mummy for this. But, um, so you light this, for example, you light this torch, and it, it, uh, shoots to things, it sh shoots fire out to light these two. So these, the only ones unlit are the, this and this. So if you light this one, it'll shoot it out, and it'll light this one, but it will extinguish this one, and so on and so forth. So you have to keep doing it until you have it in such a way that you can light all of them without extinguishing any of them. So that's nice. And uh, we're about to... Uh, we're gonna get crushed by that, but uh, we're going to... What's this do? We're gonna get split into three again, as we did in the third... Um, is that right? Actually, no. That was the second one, because it never mind. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, what is... Oh yeah, this part, okay. Um, alright, let's see, we need fire mummy for this. Where's fire mummy? I think it's back over here. Is this somewhere over here? Nope. There's a lot of stuff that I need to do, but I can't do any of it currently. Um, this way? Oh yes. Okay. Let's, let's do this quickly, gotta be a quick boy. I'm done saying sneaky skinny boy, it's gotta be a qu you gotta be a quick boy now. Alright, we've been chopped into three pieces, just like the second one we did. Okay. Alright, so... Um, so we need to get out of here, first of all. So let's get it, let's do this. Did I see some onyx here up there? No, there's nothing down here, okay. Alright, let's get them all. Oh, never mind. I, I guess they all need to be there. 
We gotta get OG mommy, just because it's the original. Oh darn it! Walked up right as it was starting. Yeah, lever. So now we can start progressing things. Alright, so it's done on map. Nice. Very nice. Um what's this way? Yeah, it's this. Alright, so So we need fire mummy for that. We need electric mummy to open those. There's nothing down there. There are some onyx scarabs that I'll get those. Seems like there there are a lot of onyx scarabs in this one. All right, so we need fire mummy. And where is fire mummy? Oh yes, we need this. Got. It. Okay, so let's go. That was close. I almost fell down. Right, so we need. This is why we need multiple mummies, so that they can stand on these switches. I think we just do this. Nope, wrong thing. I wish it didn't have to show that cutscene every time, because it gets annoying. Oof, at least it was in one cutscene. Wait, what? It's the opposite? This makes no sense. Makes no sense. Oh well. Alright, so let's just replace this because I, I want the original mummy to be the one who does everything. Alright, great. Alright, so we're gonna get paper mummy. I think this is fire mummy, right? Yep. This time it's a cage. As if it wasn't bad enough already, now we have to be in a cage while don't suss it to flame. And I still haven't donated these to the museum. I still haven't returned to the museum. Any of those jewels. And the chest just disapparated. Okay. Now we got our groovy fire mummy music. So let's go. Alright. Alright, this way. So let's go. So, um. Let's go get some Onyx Scarabs, first of all. So that. Pulling that lever will do some bad things as well as some good things. Alright, so it, it it lowered these, but it uh, it retracted these, so we need to activate something else in order to get over there. And so we we can go we can go this way and do that other thing. So let's go over here for a minute. Let's get these scarabs. thing up. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Alright, so now that we've got our flame, we can go across there. Alright, let's get Yeah, and it's gonna burn down after us, so we gotta move. There we go. Oh, that was close, okay. Here's our electric for the visit. Got some nice state with it. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. Oof. All right, back here, electric. Here we go. All right. 
Oi. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. And there, okay. So now we can unlock the stunts. Uh, what does that do? What is, how does that even benefit us? Um, I'm not even sure what that did besides open that gate. I'm gonna, oh, uh, actually, I think it's for electric. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I need, that was to open the way for electric. Okay, so I need electric. I need, I think I need electricity so that I can open up, so that I can activate the way to get back to where I need to be. So that I can finish the visit. Right, let's get back there. Alright, so let's see. Um, where is this thing that I need to activate? Oh, I think it might be. Um, we need to. Well, we need to activate this, I think. Because we haven't been. We haven't activated the other side yet. There we go. Okay. Then again, there might be just a whole new thing that I need to do uh, over. Wait, where was it? Where, oh, it's over here. Okay. Let's see, what's over here? Oh, wait, I think I remember. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, so we need it for that. Alright, so now I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so now we. This, this visit is pretty short, um, so now we just need to get some fire, and then we'll be home free. Okay, wait, oh, we gotta get up here. Oh, that was close, okay. We already, already read this. We already read this. Okay, so yeah, we did. And I accidentally hit that torch right there. Alright, so, we were supposed to hit that torch though, so... That's the first one. The second one is right here. The third one is right here. The fourth one is the first again. The fifth one is this. Sixth one is this one. And seventh is this one. And we're good. Mm -hmm. Beginner's luck, I suppose. Anyway, I gave my word, so here's reward. Your reward. Hope you could find some use for it. And these are these are the this is a uh, an item that only has a one use. One use basically. Hands of the same, this artifact gives Sphinx the strength to push and pull extremely heavy objects. Yeah, I I think you only use it in one place, and that's to get it to the next little dungeon that we have to do. Alright, so that's the end of our sneaky skinny boy this time. Even though I said I would say, oh, okay, that's, that's the thing. All right. Hello again, Sphinx. I have some important information from Imhotep. He's pleased with your progress and, and with the artifact that I have here, the Hands of a Moon. He sees that you are ready to begin your, begin your search for the Sacred Crown of Yurik. He believes that the crown may be here in Yurik, in Yurik Islands, and you will need to gain access to the Great Wall Entrance 3 to get there. Wow, Great Wall Entrance 3. That's very generic. We got the items that the mummy collected in the castle here. Chanting is still going. Meanwhile, the the ancient people are gone. I don't know why. I guess because because it's just gone. I mean, because the the obelisk is down. I guess their their uh, purpose was fulfilled. All right. So yeah. Uh, next episode, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go through the generic wall entrance three. Yeah, Great Wall Entrance 3, whatever it's called, but yeah, so this is the end of this episode, so thank you for watching, uh, like this video if you liked it, like it if you didn't like it, if you hated it, you know the drill, just, uh, just tell me you hate it and I'll, and I'll, uh, 
not do anything because I don't know how to respond to the game. Anyway, thank you for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.